I'm gonna start off the episode by going to bed. Then I can do a bunch of side quests. Should I call it a day? Choosing the rest will cause the date to change in the main story to advance. I can't do anything else right now, so... Might as well. Wait, just in case, let me check the map. Okay, the only... This is the only one. Yes. Free day. But nothing's truly free. Obtain student council task for April. Client principal Vandick. I have reason to believe that uh, believe that strange phenomena have been occurring in the old schoolhouse of late. As such, I would like to request that one or more comet ready students look into this and report back to me. For more details, come see me in my office on the first floor of the main building. Orbital Delivery, George. I have just finished repairing a bunch of Orbital tech here at the Engineering Club, but I need someone to deliver everything. Stop by the Engineering Building, left of the Student Union Building, and I'll tell you more. George, here too, Class 3. Noteworthy loss. I kind of dropped my student notebook, and now I can't find it anywhere. Would anyone be willing to help me look? I'll be looking for it on the first floor of the Student Union Building, and I'd really appreciate it if someone lent me a hand. One from a principal, one from the engineering club, and hey, one from another first year. I certainly wasn't expecting a request from the principals when my very first assignments. I hope I don't screw it up. I'm curious about that one from the engineering club too. Sounds interesting. Well, I've got all day, so let's just dive in, I guess. You now view quest tab in your notebook. Quest tab automatically records the progress of all quests extracurricular activities you undertake. You can be accessed by pressing the back button or by choosing note in the camp menu, followed by quests. Some quests must be completed in order to advance the main story. These quests have a required mark next to their name and the story will progress only once they've been completed. Quests without this mark are not essential for advancement and will disappear from the list if not undertaken in a timely manner. Two bonding points. On free days, special events can be triggered with certain classmates and sub-characters. These are called bonding events. One point will be consumed each time you view an event, but your bond with that character will be strengthened. When the time of day advances to evening, all daytime bonding events and quests will no longer be available. In exchange, you will receive one bonus point, which can be used to trigger an evening exclusive bonding event. For free days, you can use bonding points to participate in bonding events with other characters. Different bonding events will be available during the daytime and evening. Okay. Complete your student council tasks. I better go for, uh, for Co uh, Colette's quest first. The war is beautiful today. Right then, let's head out. I said our Trista is a shopping district. You can purchase a variety of items in the stores there. Brand is general goods, stocks, ingredients, and accessories. Lay stages of boutique selling clothing, footwear, and accessories. Keynes... Keynesian... Keynes... Bookstore sells reading materials such as newspapers and obviously books. Kershaw's Cafe and Inn stocks 
food items. You can also pay a small fee to rest here and restore your CP. Oh, CP recovery. You can use the X button to access the quick travel menu. You, well, in the town you can use X to access the quick travel menu. You can see characters' location as well as where they have a bonding event available. If they have an exclamation point, they can be bonded with. Let's see. Is it possible for me to go outside yet? To grind and stuff? No, I guess not from that side. Okay, I just teleported to the council room. Man, the word is perfect today. And why did this trigger? Why did this event trigger? The fish are really gonna, gonna be biting today. Looks like he's a student from one of the upper classes. Is he gonna give me a fishing rod or something? Hey there, haven't met you yet. You've got one of those red uniforms on, so I guess you're from class 7? That's right, my name is Reen Schwarzer. Are you a first year too? Yep, I'm Kenneth Lake Lord, class 2. Lake Lord? I'm part of the Imperial Fishing Club. It's really laid back. You'd like it. Wait, but what about those fishing competitions that Estelle was in? You got, Don't you guys have those too? Hot blooded fishing competitions where we try to catch fish, use those fish to catch bigger fish, and so on and so forth. But yeah, pleasure's all mine. Likewise, he's pretty laid back himself, especially for a noble. I think the Imperial Fishing Club's about fishing? You catch on quick. Tristan's supposed to be a great place for fishing. I hear there are a ton of different fish you can catch here. I'm just trying to figure out the right spot. Haha, <laughs> seems like you're having fun at least. You've done a bit of fishing in your time, haven't you? How about giving it another shot? Well, sure, but... How do you know that? Uh, just a hunch. Well then, from one fisherman to another. Receive fishing book. Receive beginner rod. Are you sure I can have these? I feel kind of bad just getting all this stuff for nothing. Don't even sweat it. The Imperial Fishing Club's here to spread the joy of fishing, so it's all good. You'll be starting off as a white angler, but don't think too much about that. Just fish away to your heart's content. A what? Ah, just ignore it for now. It's not all that important. Oh yeah, once you start landing some big caches, come back and talk to me. I'll trade you some cool prizes for your points. Prizes? Points? What's going on? Now that that's all explained, it's time for me to head off. I've got some fish to catch. I'll be fishing at the pond on campus if you want to join me. I'm still confused about some of the stuff he said, but oh well. Still, now I have a rod, it wouldn't hurt to start fishing again. Let's see, the label says it's made by the Lake Lord Company. Wait a minute, isn't Lake Lord his last name? His family must be pretty famous then, and I assume experts on fishing. Hmm. That looks like a good spot. Hopefully fishing is a little easier in this game. It looks like over there, right? It seems like it could be a decent fishing spot. Pawnee Mansion is available too, so maybe I'll give that a shot when they have the time. Now we have a fishing tab in your notebook. At fishing points you can f fish a set number of times. Wait, set number? I better save before each attempt, huh? Catching fish you'll earn angler points and, and the amount you get depends on the variety and size of fish you catch. Get fishing to earn more points. Talking to, Kenneth, uh, talking to Kenneth will allow you to exchange your angler points for items. As my rank increases, I'll have more items for sale. Alright. I only get a set number of tries, though. Hmm. 
Okay, let's try fishing then. I don't have any ground bait. Press B when uh, uh, when the exclamation point uh, 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 shows up. After you get a bite, repeatedly press the indicated button to reel in the fish. Oh boy. Did I get it? Or sword tail. Okay, so now I have a total of 16 points. Types caught 1 out of 20. And it coughed up some water, Sepith. CP recovered. Oh, I only get 4 more tries. Maybe bait, a ground bait will let me have more tries? I, maybe? I don't know. Um, shoot, where did the fishing guy say he'd be? Okay, bought a sword tail accessory off of him. Oh, hey, you didn't waste much time stopping by, did you? Once you're hooked on fishing, come see me. I've got the points, I've got the cool stuff. We'll make some trades. That's all he says, I guess. I got just set my mind lying, but then a wave of tiredness just washed over me. Oh well, I guess there's no harm in relaxing on a free day. So far, all I can catch are sword tails, I think. Unless there's, I have to be have perfect button inputs in order to get better fish. Oh hello, Warm. What makes you here? Yeah, it's gonna take too much time if I talk to every NPC. I'll do that on my own time, and only show quests and story events from here on out. Seriously, I don't have that. M I don't have that much space on my hard drive, do, do I? And I don't have all the time in the world for uploading. All right, I'm in the bookstore, and apparently there's, I can get, uh, 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 I can get a limited time book here. Have you heard of Met Red Moon Rose? It's a pretty popular novel these days. As a matter of fact, I happen to have the first chapter of it right here. Why not give it a read? For free? Are you sure I can just have it? Thank you for thanks for helping the student council with their work. And besides, giving you a free book makes you more likely to buy one from us in the future, right? Thanks. Next time I need a book, you'll be the first to know. Welcome. Have a look. We've got some solid books for students lined up here. You keeping up well in the classmate? I hope you are, because being a student's all about getting your heed in the books. I cannot say much though, because I'll be focusing on working instead. Do us a favor and don't try to read through the books here without buying them. It's fine if you have a we so I should check the contents and stuff, but make sure you buy it if that's what you're looking for. Okay. Looks like some of this is... Some of this could be... Uh, seems to be related to my uh, uh, classmates. Well, first of all, I should just buy news. Oh, man. We have to exchange more of this. I don't even have that much left. You're bleeding me dry here. I'm gonna have to skip on weapon upgrades, aren't I? Oh boy. Oh shoot. This person doesn't have a quest issue that's asking for a favor. I'm gonna some underwear trouble. Can you compare those to the pair of pair I'm wearing? I wanna know which ones are cuter. Are I you what? I have a feeling this is not a, this was a fake quest. You had me going there. I almost thought I missed something. I almost thought the guide missed something. Huh. 
What? That was a reaction. You seem like a guy worth teasing. I thought that was a secret quest! Anyways, welcome to the Chista Branches List Sage. Our sword fortune features an assortment of factions you'll find in our main branch in Heimdall, as well as goods for students. If you feel like your wardrobe needs a little refreshing, stop by and we'll find something just for you. I'm too poor for this. Oh wow, they have some accessories. Uh, um, an armor. But I don't know how these compare to the armor in the student shop in the student union shops. Let's see. The pink high heels have a speed boost. I'll have to compare it later. Anything more to talk about? We fully intend to provide you students with everything that you expect. If you have any requests or feedback on the life and service, please tell me. Yo, you're a student working for, with the student council, aren't you? You're always helping us trust the folks out. Which means you probably will too. Nice to meet you in that case. We're all pretty indebted to Toa thanks to all the help she's given us. Here's hoping you'll do the same. What do you sell? Food. And... More accessories. Prevents KO. Breaks afterwards. But I have to use the accessory slot, so... That'd be pretty situational. And I don't want to spend anything on ingredients just yet. Alright, might as well get this non-combat quest out of the way. Pardon me, you're Colette from Class 4, right? I believe you submitted a request to the Student Council? Yes, I did, but you're the guy from Class 7. Did you join the Student Council when I wasn't looking? Nothing like that, I just decided to help them out with some of their work. The Student Council President told me to handle your request. Oh, so that's how it is. Wow, we're both first years, but you seem so much more grown up than me. The people in Class 7 must be amazing. Uh, it's no big deal. So you wrote that you need help looking for your student notebook? Yeah, I've been looking everywhere but I, I can think of since this morning, but there's no sign of it. Does that mean you're going to start looking right away? They said if one person wasn't able to help me, they'd send someone else to do it. I see, so that's how Toa has this all arranged. Well... Accept. Sure, you can count on me. Really? Thank you so much. Before we get too excited, I think I'll need a bit more information to, to have any hope of finding it. Can you tell me when you first noticed that you dropped your notebook? It was right after school yesterday when I went to borrow a book from the library. You can't borrow books on your notebook, so I went to take it out, and I couldn't because it wasn't there. Yesterday after school. Got it. So when was the last time you remember having it? Probably right when classes had finished for the day yesterday, when I was still in the classroom. I remember using it to take notes while I was talking to, with my friends, so I definitely had it then. I guess I must have dropped it somewhere between my classroom and the library. I see, that narrows it down quite a bit. Did you stop by anywhere on your way to the library, though? Well, after I left the main building, I came here to the student union. Pretty sure I went to the library after that. That should be everywhere I went. Right, so there really aren't that many places you could have dropped it. The best way to go about this seems to be to split up and search the main building and the area surrounding it, I think. Yeah, that's just what I was going to ask you to do, actually. I'm hoping it's there, because I searched the library from top to bottom this morning. And the rooftops out because the janitor said he didn't notice it when he was doing his morning cleaning rounds. Main building it is. So do you think I should start with the classrooms? No, I don't think you need to check the, uh, them at all. I searched the, my classroom yesterday and didn't go into any of the others. It'd probably be a good idea to focus on the halls and the rest areas in there. I have a feeling that if it's in the main building, it's going to be on the second floor somewhere. Thanks for the info. I'll head over there and take a look around. You can stay here to the student union and keep up your search. Okay, will do. Thanks for agreeing to help me out. Quest, a noteworthy loss started. 
All right. Main building, second floor. Couch in the southeast area, apparently. Okay, like that. Whoa. One of these couches. Ah, I see something. That should be it. I should check the inside just to be sure. Unless there's another identical Colette running around, this is the one. She'll be happy to see this. I should get it back to her as soon as I can. Did you find it? Yeah, assuming this is actually your notebook, why don't you check it just to be sure. Thanks. You're right, it really is mine. Oh, thank goodness. This is the only form of ID we students have, so it would have been awful if I lost it. Especially since our instructor would have chewed my head off if I needed to get another one issued. Thanks so much for your help, Reen. I'm sorry, I'm just so relieved. I didn't know it was so important to you. Still, I'm glad I was able to help you out. By the way, where you end up finding it? Oh, you know the sofa's on the second floor of the main building that people use as a rest area? It was on one of those, sort of in the gap between the cushions. The sofa's on the second floor? Oh, I guess I did relax there for a while. Come to think of it, I think I dropped it when sitting down once before. I heard it falling out of my pocket that time, though. So I didn't end up losing it. Why would sitting down do that? What pocket do you usually put your notebook in? Oh, one of my skirt pockets, actually. That makes sense. A lot of the boys use their pants pockets, too. You might want to try using your jacket pocket from now on. It's not going to fall out of there. That's where I usually put mine. And I've never had any problems. Jacket pocket? We've got those? Well, I don't know if the girls' jackets are different from the guys' are, but I don't see why you wouldn't. Hold on, let me check. Oh wow, you're right. I had no idea this was even here. There's no way my notebook will ever fall out of one of these. Thanks for a tip. That should solve all my pocket problems. Huh, happy to be, have been of service. You've really been a big help today. This really doesn't make up for it, but... Will you accept this as a token of my thanks? Silver chain, another accessory. An accessory? Hold on, I couldn't possibly. Don't worry about it. I bought one for myself the other day, but I ended up ordering two by mistake. I can't really use both at once, so it makes sense to give it to someone who might be able to do something with it. Well, if you're sure. Thanks. That's, that's my line. Well, thanks again for everything, Reen. So, do I have to report to Toa every time I complete a quest? Prevent poison and defense up. Hello, Reen. Do you have a chance to look over the requests I sent to your dorm? I did. I'm in the middle of doing them right now. Hopefully this will take some of the weight off your shoulders. It's really a big help. We get so many of them that there's no way we can handle them all on our own. It may be tough, but good luck. Let's see. I completed it, but where do I report this again? Everything was so much simpler when I had the Bracer Guild. Okay, according to some forum posts, the uh, the quest will be automatically reported at the end of the day. So I don't have to worry about that. Alright, might as well get the engine uh, at the engineer building quest done, since this one shouldn't involve combat. 
hopefully. That entrance is locked. All right, might as well talk to George. Hey there, good to see you. Oh, you're the person who was with President Toa when I first arrived at the academy. You've got a good memory. George Gnome. I'm George Gnome, second year, class three. I'm also head of the engineering club. You're Reed Schwarzer from class seven, right? Nice to meet you. Likewise. Toa told me you'll be that you're helping out the student council. You probably got a lot to learn about the academy since you've just enrolled, but good luck with everything. Thank you very much. But I'm curious. This is the engineering building, isn't it? With all the machines and equipment around here, it certainly fits the bill. Yep, you can basically think of this as the Academy's very own orbit factory. The engineering club's been in charge of maintaining orbits here for a long time now. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I assume you've repaired all the stuff you want me to deliver for this request too? That's right, I handle that stuff here at the engineering club too. I usually deliver them myself, but I'm a little too busy this month. Can I ask you to do it for me? Of course. So what do I need to know? Awesome, okay, here's the rundown. As you know, I need you to deliver these orbital products for me. First up is this orbital scale, which I need delivered to the cooking club. The club meets in the home economics room on the second floor of the main building. Give it to the head of the club, Nicholas. Nicholas from the cooking club, home economics club uh, room, got it. The next two are both in town. Oh, so you take requests from people outside the academy too? Yeah, there was so much talk about the club that I started getting requests from the people in Trista too. There's no reason for me to refuse them, so I do as much as I can to help them out. That certainly explains how you end up so busy. Sure does. The second delivery I need you to make is this antique orbital lamp. This one's going to mesh at the pawn shop. You'll find it in the southeast part of the central shopping district. It's kind of out of the way, so keep an eye out. An antique orbital lamp for the pawn shop. Understood. Last but not least... The final item I need you to deliver is this orbital wristwatch. This one's going to Michael over at Radio Trista. Radio Trista is in the southwest of the central shopping district. Just let the receptionist know why you're there and she'll call Michael out for you. Normal wrist watch for Michael from Radio Trista. Ask the receptionist. Right, I can do that. And that's everything. Let me give you the items themselves. I'll be sure to be careful. It's not going to be easy carrying all of those around, but I'm sure it'll manage. Just be sure to report back to me when you're done. Of course, I'll get started right away. Okay, this room here is the home ec room. Learning to cook is really the best way to transform a lovely young lady like myself into bright material. If I work hard, I'm sure this will be my chance to nab myself a hunky husband. None of those boys will be able to resist. At least not after I slipped them a few drops of my special margarita blend. Hey there, you wouldn't happen to be here to join the cooking club, would you? Not exactly. The engineering club asked me to deliver something for them. Is this what you've been waiting on? Yep, that's the oral scale. I asked George to fix all right. I don't know how he works so fast. I'd be really lost without him. George's many talents aside, I didn't even know tools like this existed. Pretty impressive, isn't it? These can provide more accurate and minuscule measurements than any analog scale. If you put a container full of ingredients on there, 
It'll even subtract the container's weight for you. It's handy. I'd believe it. Hmm, you don't have an interest in cooking by any chance, do you? I haven't got given it much thought, to be honest, but I am kind of curious. I'll be cooking for myself from now on anyway, right? You'd be surprised at how many students here can't. Here's the thing, the cafeteria might be cheap, but it still costs more mirror than making it yourself would. Ever tried to cook anything yet? Not yet, I don't even know where to start. Which means you're as virgin as my olive oil. If you want to start cooking, I'd recommend you start cooking. Just make something, doesn't matter what. Tell you what, I'll even give you this to get you started. Recipe book. Now top off, here's a really easy recipe to get started on. It's so easy, I've got all the ingredients you need right here. Help yourself. Fresh egg, coarse rock salt. Thank you very much. This recipe book seems like it'll be a helpful companion, but... Are you sure I can have it? Sure, we've got tons of them. If it sparks a fire for cooking in your heart, it'll all be worth it. Got it, I'll be sure to get some use out of it then. Well, thanks again for bringing me my herbal scale. And pass on, pass my thanks on to George for fixing it too. Will do. Now will be the recipe tab. Now you can take ingredients and turn them into delicious, delicious food. You can receive recipes from various people, but that's not the only way to get them. You might find them while searching for specific areas, cooking, or even just trying a new food or drink. Everyone has a specific affinity. Have Reen cook alone or have another party member help him. Unique dish? What does that do? Simple omelet. Looks like I can only use Reen for now, but I'd be better off waiting for Elliot to join the party. See, there's multiple. Each dish can take multiple forms depending on how well you did. I must have noticed. Let's take it back when she first marched away here and yelled her food. And so there's no greater compliment than seeing someone take an interest in something you're passionate about. Margaret, try not to put too much of that strange chemical into the dish. You wouldn't want to whatever it is to spoil the flavor of the dish, would you? Huh. What is she putting there? Alright, this one you can just teleport into. Hmm, you got some business here, kid, or are you just window shopping? I do, actually. I'm here to give you something from the engineering club. Oh, George fixed that thing already? Well, hand over already, will ya? Right, this guy doesn't seem too friendly. Antique orbital lamp. Hmm, the kid does nice work. I swear, why is being a pawnbroker have to be such a pain in the ass sometimes. Who would have thought an item break right after I paid for it? Uh, that's a pretty nasty surprise. Do you get a lot of students in here out of sheer curiosity? Fair few, sure. What, you looking for some money? I don't lend money to the kids. You kids can think of this place as an exchange shop. So, like, items for items? Oh yeah, I think I got something in a while back that a kid like you'd like. It's yours, a way of saying thanks for the delivery. Blade deck? Blade, is this a card game or something? It seems that way, some good for nothing second year brought it in. Can't say I've ever bothered to play. We can give it a try, or don't, or burn it for all I care, and pay for it. Thanks, that's really nice of you. 
I have a strange feeling he just gave me this because he didn't have anywhere to put it, but oh well. Oh yeah, another thing. My shop's got the finest selection of curios in all of Trista. If you don't see anything you like, come back later. I change with goods sometimes. When? When I feel like it. Anyway, see ya. Thanks for the delivery. Enjoy playing the playing cards or whatever. Anytime. Now purchase curios. This shop you can exchange certain items for rarer and high or quality ones. Also buy some of the items you might have missed in the previous chapters as curios. As for a card game Mitch just gave Reen, you'll be able to play that later in the game. Items will be changed each time you enter a shop. You may even play rare items you miss in ch chests and elsewhere. Spec curios. Oh, these are monster ingredients, huh? They're too expensive for me right now. Exchange. See, I could convert a normal uh, a tier bomb into a tier. -a. You material. What does that do? Zerum powder requires a Mishi plush. But wait, that blade game I gave you seems to be getting popular thanks to one guy spreading the word. Maybe you could play it with your classmates sometime, if that's the kind of thing you kids like nowadays. Okay. Alright, time to go to the radio station. Monk is here too. Really Trista will be debuting a new program tonight. Can hardly wait. Give me about my heart's racing just imagining the possibilities. This new program's gonna be good wherever it is. Still don't need to work extra hard to find some material now. So all the different ab and time submissions that have been used on the show on display. Go in here. I'm on radio now. Welcome to Radio Trista. How can I help you today? Is there someone named Michael here? I've got delivery from the engineering club, and ideally, I'd like to take it to him directly. As a matter of fact, we do have a Michael here. Let me call him for you. You can wait on the sofa over there if you'd like. Sorry to keep you waiting. You said you've got a delivery from the engineering club for me? I do, indeed. Here it is. Wow, he really did fix it up. This is some pro-level work. We're starting a new show tonight, so I was feeling all nervous without a quick way to check the time. Things will be just fine now, though. I can imagine that would be pretty intense. Well, you know, it starts at 9 tonight, and if things work out, Radio Trista is guaranteed to see a bit, pretty big increase in popularity. Which means I'll be one step closer to achieving my dream of... Oops, sorry about that. I shouldn't get all excited like that and bore you with my life story. Not at all. I'm of the opinion that being passionate about what you do is a good thing. This job's pretty much my entire life at this point, really. If you want to make me feel more alive, tune in to the show tonight. You bet. Or I would if I had a normal radio. Well, we gotta head back. Our sound producer's in there waiting for me. Normally I treat you to some tea or something, but today's a really busy day. Tell George thanks for fixing my watch when you get back. Of course. Good luck with tonight's show. Alright, that's the last item delivered. I should go tell George. Oh, Radio Trista.
Oh, hey, seems like you're done with those deliveries. All three of them. Nice work. Now that you've finished delivering those, what do you think of the places you've delivered them to? Hmm. Well, they're certainly all unique. None of them are places I'd normally go either. I might have wanted the home economics room eventually, but not the pawn shop or the radio station. Yeah, I don't think most students would. The pawn shop in particular is kind of hard to find too. That's true. But now I feel as though I have a general idea of where most of the main places in Trista are thanks to this. Most people like this request benefited me more than it did you. Well, that's nice to hear. You spoke to Michael while you were at Radio Trista too, didn't you? Did he tell you anything about the new show they're starting up? He did. It starts at 9pm tonight, doesn't it? I figured he'd mention that. He's thrilled about the show, and that enthusiasm is infectious. How about you? Are you planning on tuning in? I'd love to, but... Oh, we don't have an oral radio? In that case, here, it's all yours. Wait, really? It's the latest model too, same one I've got. You helped me out big time today, so it only, only seems right to pay you back. Are you sure? Of course, I bought it for research purposes, but I never found the chance to make any use of it. It'd be a waste to just leave it here collecting dust, so I'd be thrilled if you actually got some use out of it. Well, if that's the case, thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh yeah, there's something I'd like to tell the rest of class- you tell the rest of class 7 for me. Oh? Instructor Sarah came to me with a request the other day. Long story short, she left me in charge of doing maintenance on all of your Arcus units. No kidding? Like I said, the engineering club's basically the force, the force orbital factory, so yeah. And of course, I'm pretty interested in your Arcus units myself. So if you need help with anything Arcus related, just come visit me here and I'll sort it out. Good to know. Part of me feels bad adding to your workload, it's a relief to hear that you'll be the one in charge of this stuff. That's quite the compliment. Alright, I also meant to ask, you know about Sepith Masses, right? You mean the stuff that monsters sometimes drop with regular, regular Sepith? Exactly. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you how handy regular Sepith can be. But Sepith Masses have tons of impurities, so you've never received much attention. Recently, someone discovered a way to efficiently extract Sepith from them. Oh no, now I feel bad for exchanging them. Is that so? It, oh, it's so. Thanks to that, most shops are willing to take them off your hands at a decent price nowadays. Oh, what? There's no point in holding on to them, so go ahead and sell them if you find any. Oh, good, I almost thought they had a secondary purpose. A little extra money never hurt anyone. Sounds like a good deal to me. Will do. I think I'm, ju I've ju I'm just about talked out for the day. Thanks again for your help. Here's hoping we'll we can keep exchanging favors. Ditto. We'll be counting on you. Now make use of the Orbital Factory. Required step if to open up slots. And court synth synthesis. U materials to up customize weapons. Where do I get U materials? Never exchange for mirror within any shop's exchange menu. Regular stuff can be exchanged too, but do remember that they're used for synthesizing course and unlocking slots. As on the other hand, are useless and can be fussed freely exchanged for Mira. Master, I can buy these? Obtain separate from attacks and crafts. I guess it would pay for itself eventually. Exchange. Oh, now they can let me exchange the elemental ones too. But where do I get you materials? I hope I can get some in the next dungeon. Maybe I can buy them somewhere, I don't know. Okay. 
I can buy covers. That seems purely cosmetic. Opening slots. Hmm. Should also increase my EP. Hmm. That's strange. Eh. That's strange. I thought he'd have a complete one-line ornament, considering uh, uh, considering his uh, uh, he's supposed to be a mage type. Instead, he's almost got a complete line. Okay. I definitely want to get analyzed because I'm running low on those uh, scopes. I'll do the rest of my shopping off screen. Okay, it's not letting me teleport anywhere, so I assume that means there's gonna be an event as soon as I leave. Wait, that was a lot of work. I'm exhausted. Feels good though, kind of fulfilling. But now that I think about it, George may have made that request specifically for my sake. I feel like I know a lot more about Trista and the Academy now that I'm done. Was she with Crowit in the in the prologue? Who's that? If she's hanging around here. She must be a member of the engineering club, right? That big thing next door wasn't here before either. What could it be? Well, it doesn't matter now. I've got another request to finish. That about does it. Now all I've got to do is report back to George. So he does know George after all. Ah, the wind felt fantastic today. Alright. Hmm, that might prove interesting. Is he looking towards the stables? Maybe he's interested in horses. Where are you staring at? Oh, sorry. That club may suffice. I want to see what this guy's up to again. Dearest Ferris, that Lycross uniform truly suits you. Fear not, your big hearted brother will be cheering you on from here. Now show me your blazing passion, your merciless icy focus. Show your foes true elegance as you crush them underfoot. Oh Ferris, seeing you take this first step on yet another path of glory fills me with joy. I wish I could offer you a gift, but I've not but this wink of encouragement. Master Vincent seems overjoyed by Lady Ferris's decision to join the Academy's Black Cross Club. As a servant of the Floral family, I have every intention of cheering her on from the shadows. Lady Ferris's decision to please me ex years' experience, unfortunately, tells me that Master Vincent will prepare a celebration that will backfire on him. Being bested by a commoner is quite simply not an option. A, a daughter of the Floral family is my duty to put Elisa in her place. I am no stranger to Lycross, having played it back at home. Plus, there's absolutely no way that Elisa could best me. Right, we're going to start by showing you the basics. No worries, none of it's going to be too difficult, yet. Don't use that as an excuse to doze off though, because you'll be doing it right after. Or pay close attention, because you'll be trying them as soon as our demonstration's over. I see Emily's feeling enthusiastic about our new members. Last year we were in the same position as they are now. It's very nostalgic, to be perfectly honest. We're the ones being coached last year, but this year we'll, we're the ones doing the coaching. Hopefully it won't be too tough to get into the swing of things. I get a feeling that this Ferris girl isn't exactly fond of me. Hopefully it's just my imagination. I've got practice to focus on anyway. 
What do you want? Can you see I'm busy? Seems it's gonna be a while before she's ready, so forgive me. Okay, horse people. Taking liking, uh, taking a liking to this one, have you? All of our horses are of the highest caliber, having been bred, uh, born and bred in the Nord Highlands. What would you say to a test ride? Really? Well, I guess I could. Nord Highlands are well known as the ideal environment for raising horses. My trusty Whitcomb hails from there too. However, no horse where from Highlands or elsewhere could can hold a count of Whitcomb's speed. Oh, this is the first time I've ever touched a horse. They're really amazing up close. So docile, but at the same time I can feel how strong it is. I guess I'd be spending a lot of time with them if I ended up joining this club, huh? Maybe I'll give the test right a shot at least. Alright, looks like Emma's in this c literature club. Dorothy seems like such a passionate person. Writing novels and short stories together would be a lot of fun too. Maybe this really is the club for me. Club sounds like it be, might be an enjoyable time, so maybe I should join. Based on what I've seen, she's very well educated and has a real way with words. I'm sure we'll enjoy our time together in this club. Now I just need to drag her into the wonderful world of passionate young men. So Emma, what kind of books do you like? How about books between hot, passionate friendships between beautiful boys? Yowie! Um, what does this have to do with literature? Three days are the best time to be at the academy. It's just you, your art, and the silence. Everyone is either out in town or doing something with their club. They should be gone more often. Look at her eyes. They look so lifeless. If only every day were a free day, I'd be able to get far more work done. Well, she's certainly unique. Other new members don't need me to hold their hands. If every day were a free day, I wouldn't have a thing to worry about. Um, I think it'd be good to try and give this painting a bit more depth. What do you think, Clara? Whatever. Huh, this sh that should really help me improve. Thanks, Linde. It looked a bit intimidating at first, but Gaius is really nice. But why am I the one teaching him? I'm not exactly some master artist. Seems like linde has been fond of painting since she was young. Which led her to learning more about it? We're both new to the club though, so I hope we get along. That reminds me, I heard you've decided to help the student council out. Just let me know if you ever need any help with that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm glad to know you've got my back. There are really a lot of interesting folks here in the Empire. Take Clara, for ex instance. Hope I don't stick out too much here. The shade here is nice. Might be good for napping. This place may be good for napping. I like it. There's a teacher. Oh, hopping right on it. Aren't you a diligent student? I, I'll bet Toa's got you so wrapped around her fingers already that she snaps her fingers and you leap into action. No, that's not how it is. Besides, I'm not even sure what to think of you sitting here relaxing after dumping all that work on me. Hey now, I'm an instructor. This is my precious day off, so... Let me be. Uh, let me just be completely unproductive for one day, okay? I feel like in your mind, every day is a day off. I leave it to you to give the student council whatever help they need. Just remember, poor little Toa would be sad if you didn't. She might even sniffle and shed a single tear. My old friend Alan apparently joined the fencing club, so I thought I'd pay him a little visit. 
Seems really busy right now, though. I wouldn't want to interrupt. Maybe I'll stop by some other time. I only have a friend since we attended Sunday school. I don't want to bug him while he's busy, though, so maybe I'll stop by again some other time. Uh, do these two duke it out yet? Logans, why are we wasting our time practicing the basics when we pick up where we left off yesterday? Surely I'm not the only one who feels our draw was unsatisfactory. They fought to a draw? I thought Patrick would win just to make it even uh, uh, better when I managed to beat him. Shay, you're a first year. You do the basics. No two ways about it. Still, he managed to beat a second. Well, he didn't beat the second year. He managed to draw, but it's still pretty amazing. Huh, and I here I thought you were such a hothead that you'd jump at the chance. Oh well, I suppose defeating you so hastily would spoil the fun, so I'll let you off for now. Off to you, little shit. Damn it, I wish I hadn't let my guard down yesterday. If I'd gone all out, I would've won. This brat wouldn't be acting like he's better than me. Yesterday's match ended in a draw, but I think I have a grasp on everyone's general skill levels here. This club should serve as an adequate way to pass the time until I graduate, at least. Sounds basic, but relaxing your body and staring your opponent down could save your life. They're not particularly glamorous, but good fundamentals can save you from embarrassing accidents down the line. Got it? Yes, ma'am! You can already see the sparks flying between those two. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of explosions those sparks will set off. And, of course, Patrick isn't just a noble, he's skilled with a sword. Are nobles really that much better than us? Alan, if you lose focus with a sword in your hand, you're liable to have one run through you. Right, sorry. What? If only there was a club for uh, practicers of the eight leaves style. But there aren't. I don't think uh, Yun Kafai has that many disciples to begin with, does he? Alright, Laura's supposed to be in here somewhere, probably in the swimming area. What's up here? Oh, I didn't even know I could... Well, there doesn't seem to be anyone up here yet. Alright, down there is swimming area. Alright. Who should I bond with first? I only get two points, but there's three people available at the moment. Should I bond with Laura and Elliot? I don't know. We got ourselves a great group of first years this year. Casper seems like he's really into learning. And then there's Laura, who I don't even need to teach at all. First. This is the stuff that makes being club captain so worth it. I grew up by the ocean, so yeah, I'd say I'm pre a pretty good swimmer. I said, I joined this club to get even better. Which reminds me, I wonder if Laura wouldn't mind teaching me some stuff. She's a noble though, isn't she? Do you think she'd mind if I just asked her for help? Can I ask Laura to... Am I allowed to just ask her like that? Whoa, look at how cool that second year with the blue ha hair is. I thought she was a first year. I've been checking out the different sports clubs, so I think this one might just be the one for me. If I join, I'll be able to be c get as confident and strong as she is. Is she confusing Laura for a second year? Okay, I'm better safe first. Talking to her might activate her event immediately. Good day, Reen. Have you come for a swim, too? Uh, not quite. I'm surprised the swimming club's active at this time of the year, though. Well, it's true that swimming, winter swimming isn't for everyone. The water is rather chilly, but I think it makes for good training. How did I know you'd say something like that? Should I stick around a bit longer? S uh, hmm. Decisions. Uh, Alright, might as well. 
If I have to, I can do multiple playthroughs, and with new game plus bonuses, I should be able to breeze through everything but the end game. Would it be fine if I just hung out and watched the club for a while? You'll get no objections from me. In fact, you came along at the perfect time. I was just about to test my short distance swimming speeds. Do you think you could record my times? Is there any catch to doing this t event? Do I have to actually play a minigame? Sure, I can do that. Goal! That took you 22.34 seconds. Whew, just a so-so time. So-so, you tore across the pool. Wait, no, any better, I'd say you were part fish. Let's not go overboard. If I'm a fish, my father is a dolphin. In fact, he could probably outswim one. Maybe, but he's the Radiant Blade Master. His swimming prowess doesn't make yours any less amazing. No kidding, I could hardly take my eyes off her while she was in the water. Is there a reason you're swearing at this, staring at me? Oh, uh, no, don't mind me. I think swimming is a specialty of yours, then? Eh, perhaps more habit than specialty. The Grim is located alongside a lake, and I used to swim there in the winter to train. Seems like doing so has slightly improved my swimming in general. I don't know if the world uh, the word slightly applies here. Given your upbringing, I initially assumed that you'd join a more combat-oriented club. But I see now that even swimming can contribute to your training. That's the hope. My father once told me there are things about the sword we can only learn by stepping outside of its shadow. I had every intention to put those words into practice upon entering this academy. Your dedication to the sword doesn't surprise me. The way it influences so much of your life seems very... you. To be honest, I'm a bit jealous. There's no need for that. You have your sword, you can do the same. I guess you're right. I forgot I said anything. Hmm, I see. Regardless, thank you for timing me. Seems I'll have to train even harder from here on out. Best of luck, I know you can do it. Bond of Laura strengthened. Alright, if my prediction is correct, this means her asterisk, her. her Exclamation point disappears, and now I have to pick someone else. Whew. You're looking pretty busy there, Elliot. Yeah, I just got some packages from home. Heavy ones at that. I just carried them up here and I'm already totally beat. I can believe that. S seems like there's food in one of these, too. So I should probably look through them. Well, I am already here. Should I give him a hand? Yes! You look like you use a hand. Might have I help out? Really? You would? Well, I'd sure appreciate it. Reed and Elliot began sorting out the packages that Elliot received from home. Whew, well, we're done with about half of them now. Uh, I didn't expect there to be quite this much of everything. There has to be a month's worth of food here, not to mention a bunch of clothes and other daily necessities. I didn't expect this either. Now I feel bad for dragging you into it. My sister's way too protective of me sometimes. Oh, you got a sister? Yeah, an older one. She's always been a bit on the clingy side too. I mean, I'm grateful she sent me a care package, but I wish she'd tone it down a bit. I'm not a kid anymore. You mean it? I think it's kind of nice, actually. You can tell her tell that she really cares about you. Really? Oh. Elliot took a worn-looking piece of sheet music out of the box. 
Is that sheet music? It looks like someone got a lot of use. Uh, someone got a lot of use out of it. Yeah, I used to practice with this all the time back home. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I actually wanted to enter a music academy before I ended up here. Oh really? I guess. Then I guess joining the wind orchestra wasn't just like a ca just a casual thing for you, huh? Well, I've always loved music ever since I was younger. <laughs> when again, I wasn't all that serious about it, so I ended up choosing fours instead of a music ca academy. W weird, really? Well, either way, it'd be nice to hear you play that piece sometime. Sure, one of these days. Me and Elliot return to sorting out the packages, only to get, only getting through with the strength of their combined efforts. Bond with Elliot strengthened. I already have some prior Link experience with him. See, class seven members. Yes, uh, doing this uh, doing this event got me an extra page for him. Seems like everyone has extra pages. Can I actually fill them all out? More people. Hello, Guardian Club. Let's see, there's Alan. Very competitive and stubborn boy, spends his days training in pursuit of strength. The, these two look almost exactly alike. Are they twins? Hopefully they're not just reusing character art or something. Yeah, this guy's totally part of the newspaper club. Patrick, Ferris, Kenneth, Bridget, Margarita. Okay, Machias is supposed to be around here. I think he's probably at the top. I can't bond with him, but I do want to talk to him anyways. Um, he might be in one of these rooms. No. That's strange. I could have sworn I saw him. No, wait. He might be at the bookstore instead. Oh, no. He's uh, he's just sitting outside. I was surprised to find that in spite of its quaint size, this town has all the shops one could possibly want. This cafe has a rather pleasant atmosphere, too. Seems like the perfect environment for studying. Yeah, it certainly feels like a town built around the academy. I have to hand it to you, though. You've, you're really dedicated to your studies. Just doing what's ex expected of a student. You should try to make a habit of preparing for classes in advance and then reviewing new material afterward. Seems like a smart idea. You don't need a break every now and then, too. Okay, I actually went back and reloaded a save. I'm not actually gonna do Machias' bonds for a uh, bond event for my fine uh, for my finalized save, but I might as well just show off what happens. I was surprised to find that in spite of its quaint size, this town has all the shops one could possibly want. This cafe has a rather pleasant atmosphere too. Seems like the perfect environment for studying. Yeah, it certainly feels like a town built around the academy. I have to hand to you, though. You're really dedicated to your studies. Uh, just doing what's expected of a student. You should try to make a habit of preparing for classes in advance and then reviewing the new material afterward. I think I had this conversation already. Seems like a smart idea. Maybe this would be a good chance to know, get to know him a bit better. Yes. Mind if I joined you? Not at all. I was just thinking of taking a break myself. Go ahead and order something. 
Rain ordered a drink and proceeded to join Machias on his break. Sip. You can tell this cafe uses some high quality beans for its coffee. There's a rich flavor behind the initial bitterness and the fragrance is utterly fantastic. I take it you're pretty knowledgeable when it comes to coffee then? Mainly due to my dad. He's been drinking it as long as I can remember. Thanks to him, I started drinking it while I was studying, which gradually gave me a taste for it. Ah, that explains it. This actually makes me curious about the kind of person Governor Regnitz is. Speaking of which, is that tea I see you drinking? It is. I'm way more used to tea than I am coffee. The tea here is nice and relaxing too. I'm not sure I'll ever understand the appeal. It doesn't help that I always associate with nobles. In fact, I saw one particularly irritating noble arrogantly sipping away at a cup the other day. That couldn't be anyone other than you, sis. And how do you sip arrogantly? It could have been Patrick, too. Erm. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to rant. I didn't mean to sound like I was judging you or anything. I mean, you're not even a noble. Don't worry about it. Why don't you give it a try, though? You might actually end up liking it. I guess I could. You should try some of my coffee, too, then. They pour... They each pour some of their drink into the earth's cup from their respective pots. Sip. You're right, this isn't so bad. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I might actually consider having some coffee next time I'm really studying. <laughs> Keeps you sharp between the ears. Now the two of us stay here sometime then. Sounds like a plan. And first the two finished their drinks and chatted together for a while longer. Bond of Maki is strengthened. You know, a cup of tea sounds pretty good right now. Next time we should come here and stay together. And too bad this conversation never officially happened on my final save. Hold on, I forgot to get your second dialogue. Thanks, Reen. Everything's nice and tidy now. I'll eat her at peace next time I get the chance. I'll look forward to it. Any second dialogue from you? My time was decent at best. Seems like I want to improve on it. My only choice is to continue training. She's always looking at how she can improve herself. I have to learn from her diligence. Well, Matt, I'm gonna read some of uh, read the Imperial Chronicle and the Red uh, uh, Moon Rose. Politics annual budget announced. The government today held a press conference to reveal its annual budget to the nation. At the time, new plans to expand the military were announced, including the strengthening of the armored divisions, reaffirming earlier statements made by Chancellor Osborne. The neighboring Calvary Republic continuing to expand its own armed forces. This seems like an appropriate reaction, and a duty of a great nation such as ours. Both the House of Representatives and the House of Peers met to debate the budget in Heimdall. The House of Representatives voted unanimously in favor of the budget and military expansion plan, but the House of Peers remained fiercely critical of both proposals throughout the debate. I pray that His Majesty decides in the best interests of this nation. House of Peers President However, with His Majesty leaving decisions regarding the budget in the hands of the Chancellor, it seems unlikely that it will be overturned. Imperial Governor Regnitz speaks. In response to an Imperial Chronicle reporter outside City Hall, Gen Governor Regnitz had this to say about the budget debate. The proposals have my full approval. Much has been made of the military aspects, but taken as a whole, I feel the budget is remarkably well balanced. It seems apparent to me that His Excellency has a clear vision for how to proceed in modernizing this country. It's been a... It's, the Imperial Transportation Act. It's been a year since the Imperial Transportation Act was enacted in Heimdall. The law was drafted with the expectation that the number of Orwell cars in the city would continue to increase. But 
How, however, dear readers reacted to the bill. We have found that the majority seem to be in favor of the new law, though some have argued that giving the cards of commoners regard equal to that of the nobility makes little sense. City Hall PR representative who supported the law. The imperial government maintains that the law has been successful in reducing the number of murdering accidents and aims to eventually introduce it in the rest of the country. Culture, Salic Grand Market. The eastern town of Salic is best known for the Grand Market, which is held regularly throughout the year. This year's spring market is bustling as usual and has attracted large numbers of tourists and merchants. What is it that makes the market so lively? As the town is located on a trade route that has long dwells in this nation, is the opinion of Otto, the market manager. He believes that Salik's position as, as an interchange station where passengers can transfer from the transcontinental railroads and national lines makes it easily accessible for visitors from both outside and inside the country. For whatever reason, the market's popularity is showing no signs of laying up. Spotlight, welcome to the RF store. Our goal is to deliver the latest Reinford Group products. We're a one-stop sh one orbital technology shop. Alright, Red Moon Rose. Whoa, 18 pages. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna read this one off screen. There's no... Uh, this would probably take an entire video by itself. Yeah, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.